this for you. This is not your F. This is God's F. And the church that you are leading is not your people. These are God's people. Behave. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back to the gang gang now because i would like to dissect i would like us to deliberate on a certain man of god guys in do you know there are people that call themselves principalities now i'm holding my camera in my hand and maybe if you see me moving around or changing angles please just know that maybe my hand is getting tired but it is a setting for me it's the environment for me this is just something that i really really i really do enjoy outdoor filming Alright, so I'm going to be looking down because I've written down all the points that Mr. John, I don't even want to call him Joe, uh, uh, Pastor because hey, 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 ha -ha. Mr. John Anosike is calling himself a principality. I'm not just praying with you. I am a principality of a certain atmosphere. This is a man of God from Nigeria and he is calling himself a principality. He is telling people that you need not to address me because you are not worthy of addressing me. And whoever wants to address me should come do so in a hum hum humility way. No elder here has the authority to talk to me. Not even one. You do if you try it, I will, I will use like you, I will, I will, from that office, I'll kick you out. Ever you see the sincere sin of a father, don't you dare expose it. Go to the elders. No elder here has the authority to talk to me. Not even one. You do, if you try it, I will, I will use like. You, I will, I will, from that office, I'll kick you out. Hmm. I mean, I didn't bring, I, I didn't make an elder to talk to me. I made an elder to find something to do. You know what I'm trying to say? I made an elder to, to, to share in your ideas. I can throw it with just discuss, just to hear your points, your views, and you table it with humility. Oh, you may say, ah, you are, you are arrogant. That's okay. It's not. When I stand on this altar, I'm not just praying with you. I am a principality of a certain atmosphere. So you only have the privilege to walk with me. Are you hearing me, sons of God? Certain times when I'm ministering, I am not talking to any single person in church. I am only dealing with a certain dimension that is subject to me as a principality. Do you know who I am? I'm an authority. <laughs> Shaila, we had a visit in the foundation of Christianity across the nations of the world. Is somebody hearing me now? I am on a global assignment. Shabalira, Eshaila, Ebraka Tavara, Shaila, Amiria, Galiga. My pulpit is in the hand of atmosphere. You see? We are going to run church from a secular point of view. You must have an authority over you. Who has a superior influence over you, not those that are under you. Those under you don't have authority over you because you are the authority over them. Amen. Does that make sense? Yes. You, you, a, a, a child cannot instruct the father. Mm -mm. A son cannot instruct the father. Impossible. Even though if you have ideas, you submit it with what? Humility. Guys, now, I don't understand what type of humility does this guy want? Or does he, he is he portraying because he's so arrogant? Okay. Elder has authority. So he simply wants to be in a church of zombies. He doesn't want to be questioned. He doesn't want accountability. He doesn't want anybody questioning what he's doing and how he's doing things. So apparently no elder has authority. Number two, he told people that he's going to beat them, he's going to kick them out. Now, what type of violence is that? He's going to kick you out simply because you don't agree with him. Charlie, I've got news for you. This is not your earth. This is God's earth. And the church that you are leading is not your people. These are God's people. Behave. You better be careful what you say to God's people. Because you, you are going to be judged for all of those, those, those nasty words, those idle words you are saying. Kicking people out. Number three. He said he made them. Now, look, no 
nobody has made me. Nobody has made you. No, hey, the only the only glory and the only credit we're supposed to give is to God. Guys, now don't ever be fooled. No man of God makes you. No woman of God makes you. No matter how many how many uh, uh, investments they did in you or how much time they've invested in you, not even your own mother or your own father made you. Mm-hmm. Because the Bible says, "In the belly of my mother, you formed me." That was God. God is the only person that made us. Don't be fooled, guys. So I'm running out of time because the sun is about to set and I also have another engagement to go to. But this guy wants people to be humble while yet he's the most arrogant. He's very arrogant in his speech. And then there's a point, there's a part he says, um, he's a principality. Principality. So he's not a person. Is he doing the juju? What what is a principality? If you go in the Bible, principalities are forces of darkness, forces of whatever, things that cannot be equated to human uh, human uh, uh, existence. So he's a principality, Abi. Okay, continue, Mr. Principality. Why do you need people to preach to if you are principality? Why don't you just subdue them if you are principality? Why is he not talking to principalities? Why is he subduing people? Why is he trying to subdue people? Why it, why doesn't he go and have have meetings and gatherings with these principalities that he so feels that are up to his level? Guys, don't be fooled. These people, these pastors, they just use words to scare you, scare tactics and manipulation to make you believe that what he's saying is from God. Kanti is not even from God at all. Okay, last but not foundation of Christ- Christianity. The foundation of Christianity is Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. You are not the foundation of Christianity, Papa. Then you, he speaks in tongues. False. False. Okay, another thing. He says people that are under you. Nobody is under you. The only person who is under you is Satan. Guys, don't be fooled. This thing of ranking and rankings, there is nothing like ranking. So don't be fooled. Now a ranking. I'm under you. The people that are under you must not question you. This is the reason why these people are so arrogant because they feel like you are under them. Before I finish my train of thought, I want us to understand that this is God's children. This is this is God's people. This is a church, not your children at home. So you don't tell them that you are going to beat them. You don't tell them you are going to uh, um what is the word? You you are going to take action. <laughs> Pastor Ano. Mr. Anosike, John, please be warned, Randwa. Be warned, though. God wants the, you to tell the people the truth. Don't think that when you are put in a position of leadership, you are there to subdue people and you are there to manipulate people. No, no, it doesn't work like that. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, please do let me know what is your opinion in the comment section. And yeah, let's get chatting in the, in the comment section down below. Bye, guys.